Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, as you can tell by the title of the video and the description in the video, we're going to talk about Stratomatic's sports know-how game. And let me see if I can... Yeah, there you go. So there's a picture of it uh, to the... Um, I guess to the... Um, left of my image talking to you about the game but it just so happens that I actually have the game Stratomatic Sports Know How basically it's a trivia game um, about sports um, and we will take a look at it um, I don't I don't think the game is available anymore from through Stratomatic. I went on the website and I looked and tried to find it and I could not find it. So, And you can see right here, this is uh, an offer. Somebody is offering the game on eBay and they're saying that it's rare to find it. And in fact, the starting price of it here is like $99. So, And I can guarantee you it was not $99 when Stratomatic originally had it in stock and was selling it. So I'm guessing that this game was not a big seller. Um, you know, uh, it was probably one of those things that they've tried, uh, just like they you, they tried like All Star baseball uh, card sets that had the image of the player uh, on the card. That didn't really go over very well. Um, you know, they've tried several things in their past, and this was one of them. So anyway, we'll go through the contents and just kind of uh, basically explain the game. I, I, I don't think I've ever actually really played it. I've just kind of looked through it, looked at what they have. So you've got the instructions to the game right here. Uh, one page, two sides. You have a packet that includes... Uh, two dice and some tokens. You can see those right here. You've got a red die, a white die, and you've got the tokens that you would move around the uh, board. Um, you have uh, you have the punch out cards. These are little like I, let's see if we can see this. Um, they're like a punch out card that has little markers, little round markers on them that are used for your selector cards and this is what a selector card looks like. Um, it's where you pick the category of the question that you're going to give to one of the other players in the game. And then uh, we've got the board. This is what the board looks like. You basically move your token around the board. You start at the uh, turnstile, which is um, right here. You start at the turnstile and you go around the board. I don't know if you only go around the board once or if you go around the board a number of times until somebody wins the game for with a number of points. I'm not sure how that works. But you see you've got different colored spaces and you've got um, uh, di the different categories that will appear on the card, specific categories. Now, from what I understand, if you land on a specific category, somebody in the game asks you a question from one of these cards in that specific category. So um, that's what these cards look like, just to give you a kind of an idea. These are some of the uh, questions, the categories. And if you land on a colored space, um, the person who is going to ask you... Well, if you, if you land on a blue space... Right. If you land on a blue space, you can tell the person who's asking you the question um, what category you want the question from. If you land on a red space... That's the opponent's choice, and the opponent chooses which category of question to ask you. So if I was playing and you had the choice to ask me, I landed on, like, let's say, a red space, you would want to ask me a basketball question because I really don't know much about basketball. 
So, you've got basketball befuddlers. There's a question here. Um, let's see. Let's see what uh, a basketball question would be. What is the nickname of the University of Kentucky? All right, well, that's... I, I don't know that either. But... <laughs> um, which school won four NCAA Division II championships from 1966 to 1973? Of course, again, I have no idea. But the answer to those questions are the Wildcats and Kentucky Wesleyan is the one that won all those championships from 66 to 70-something, whatever. So, uh, yeah, you would want to ask me that question uh, or a question like that. So anyway, that you get the idea, and there's several of these. There, I mean, there's a lot of these cards. So you know, there would be a lot of questions you could potentially ask somebody. And so you move around, you try to get the most right, I suppose, or accumulate the most points, and uh, you uh, work it like that. So uh, just thought I would point this out. It was kind of uh, I. You know, was going through my stuff, and I uh, saw this game, and I was like, you know what? I should do a video on this game because nobody really talks about this. And Stratomatic, I don't think, like I said, I don't think they're selling it anymore. Uh, an interesting novelty. So I have probably one of a limited number of these games that are out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have the game, uh, how, if you've played it. And if you have played it, do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Do you wish that um, Stratomatic had made more versions of it with more cards that had more questions? Although, again, like I said, they have a ton of cards in this game. So it's hard for me to imagine that you would need, like, you could play this game, I would say, quite a bit and not really go through all the it's kind of kind of like trivial pursuit you know you would you could play trivial pursuit a hundred times and only get repeat questions maybe you know a few repeat questions but um you know because they do have the different categories just like trivial pursuit has uh they have the board you go around the board it's you know it's uh, it's uh, loosely based on it's basically the stratomatic version of trivial pursuit i guess um but yeah let me know uh who out there has the game do you like it um have you played it a lot have you not played it at all like i said i have not actually even played this game so i would be interested to know uh what people think of it um i'm sure it's a great game it's just that you know um, I, you know, I'm, I live at home with my wife. Um, she's not into sports. I don't have any children and I don't have any real, uh, family very close. And so, um, and I don't have really friends very close. Um, so in general, um, at least not close enough to do this, to play it like on a regular basis so i'd be interested to know what your thoughts are um and that's just a quick video to talk about um a relatively rare and obscure stratomatic game but other than that that is going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off